wanted to get some V-Force reed valves. That's what I have on the yellow bike here, and they work quite well. But I think, uh, for a couple of reasons, one, they're very expensive, and there's a whole bunch of counterfeiters out there now, and the only way I can safely buy them is from Moto Tassahara, Tassarina, Moto Tassinari. I had these Boysen reeds in the yellow bike, and they worked okay. Uh, this one is like a single piece fiberglass reed valve. This, these are stock metal reed valves. This one looks kind of interesting. These carbon fiber looking reed valves, they might work okay. But I just took these off of a race engine that uh, the engine was in the bike I'm working on now. I think I'm just going to stick these in. It looks like they have these billet uh, reed blocks. So I'm going to use these. They're quite pretty, aren't they? Uh, clearly they're dual stage, like the Boysen ones, um, but I know that that engine ran really good. I would rev that engine to like 10,500 RPMs and it ran quite well. Slight change of plans already. These uh, billet blocks are really glued on to these manifolds. I mean really glued on. You can see they even go into the rubber inside there. I can't get them separated. So these were set up for these VM30 carbs. I think I'll just leave them alone. And I kind of want to run stock carburetors on this bike. So I'm going to go with these guys. Hope they work good. I changed my mind again. I'm going to run these reeds in this thing. Uh, I suspect that these are TDR. Uh, they're 20 thousandths, clearly a single pedal. So I don't know what they are. Stage 1, stage 2, something. TDR reeds, I think. Uh, I'm going to sand this surface lightly with 600 grit just to clean them off or get the surface perfectly flat and clean. That's it. This one was just wet sanded with that 600 grit sandpaper. This one hasn't been sanded yet. There's no gasket on the interface from the carburetor joint to the reed block, right? It says so right here in the manual. There is a gasket on this side that goes into the cylinder. Is this kind of molded in o-ring looking thing in here supposed to be the gasket or the sealing interface between this carburetor joint and the reed block. Maybe that's so when they're brand new parts. Maybe this thing is elevated a little bit. I've taken a straight edge and pushed it along here and this molded in o-ring thing here is not elevated. It's squashed down or aged out or something. And this sounds, sounds to me kind of metal to metal but they do not call out a gasket. I bought a stack of paper gaskets some time ago, so I could put one on here as this interface, or, I don't know, I might just put some 1211 on this surface here for this interface. I don't know yet. For this guy, which goes into the cylinder, as this gasket. I have some Yamaha gaskets here. Nice metal ones with some sort of coating on them. But it's impossible to get this Yamaha gasket onto this reed block because of these little extensions on the corners. So I need to take these apart and cut these things. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cuts. This one this metal gasket goes right on it, just like it would on a stock one. Why do they make these with the extra material hanging off the edge? I am able to finagle this paper gasket on here, but the metal one just doesn't have enough play. And I want to use this metal gasket. I did clean all this stuff and then uh, cleaned all the gasket surfaces up with lacquer thinner. And I thought I was going to get this thing assembled so it could cure overnight and I could pressure test it tomorrow. 
But now I gotta take these apart and cut those fiberglass parts. How about that? Ken's machine shop to the rescue. Here we go. Yamaha gasket. It's a metal gasket. Uh, looks like it has the same type of finish like a head gasket, some sort of uh, coating on it. For this, I'm going to put some 1211 on here. I've had trouble with these in the past, having leaks. Hope it works. I cleaned all of these ceiling surfaces again.